All right, now we're going to just remove the top case. We just lift. Lift it up. Oh, I've missed a screw. Whoops. If you do feel it not coming up, it's probably because you've missed a screw as well. That's how observant I am. Whoops. There we go. Top case is off. Now the top case, it loses its balance a little bit, so just put that over there. And now we are inside the EPC. As you can see, um, we've got thermal pads instead of paste. Um, mine broke a little bit, so I had to try and fix it up as best I could. Um, Alright, so now what we do is, there are microphone and webcam, oh I think they're just the webcam ones, and the inverter board connectors up here. So make sure those two are unplugged, and there's also the fan, which is here, and of course the LVDS display cable. So remove that as well, and then just move the display closed a little bit so it doesn't fall over. Then we have two little clips here at the front. Probably a bit hard to see. But you just basically pop your flat blade under the motherboard, give it a little wedge, and it should pop up. And then all you do is lift it out. Oh, and there's also a stopper in the modem port, which doesn't actually have a modem on board. So if you just pop your flat blade in behind it, just push that out. Just a little rubber stopper. Doesn't do too much. And then you can lift it out. Just lift it up to about a 45 degree angle and give it a quick pull and it will pop out. And the display is now very unstable <laughs> because the weight is not very well balanced. Now here's the underside. As you can see, the airport cables are attached, the wireless cables, so you just disconnect them. And then you can take the motherboard out, pop it down, and just move the little EPC shell to the side. Alright, so now we have the underside of the motherboard. Now we'll put the new airport card in and the extra RAM.